lucky to be alive over here. Yeah, we're just a small shop, and gosh, I don't right. know if we're going to have much work. A guy's not going to come over to, you know, they're look, if a guy's coming to another place, he's looking for increase. That's a natural human um, element or, a way or thinking as part of being a humanist. We're looking, humans are looking to increase, to grow, okay? And so they're not going to come from a big shop. They, they can go from a big shop to a little shop, but they're if they are, they're looking for increase at this big shop. Is you know they're they're not just a number here, and they're excited about taking you know taking over over mm-hmm. things. People are drawn to that. Guys will be drawn to that. Yes, to an energy and, right, and um, a leader that leads that leads right. well. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And in this episode of Potty Talk, we're going to discuss the qualities of a leader. That's a question I get hit up on a lot. Okay. okay? You know, what what makes a, you you know, a good leader? And, you know, are leaders, you know, born? Are you born a leader? Or you know, can you be made a leader? You know, you know, yes and yes and yes. Okay. <laughs> it's all out there. But we're going to discuss the qualities. What makes okay. a good leader? A good leader. Okay. 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 For your plumbing business or mm-hmm. any business for that matter. Sure. Okay. All right. Hey, before we do that, though, mm-hmm. let's thank our sponsor. Let's. And let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> plumbing companies are a dime a dozen. <laughs> yeah, and Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Mm-hmm. This is true. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. So your logo and truck design are vital to making sure that you not only stand out in a crowd, but will be remembered. Kick Charge Creative is the plumbing industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency and has been instrumental in getting plumbers just like you noticed for over 20 years. Been around the block. Mm-hmm. Okay, a time or two. All right. In fact, Kick Charge has helped my clients, such as Works Plumbing in San Francisco, California, increase their revenue by 66% in less than one year. Okay. All right. It matters. Okay. And it does work. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge and start getting noticed today. And go follow um, them out on social media. They they have a great presence out on social media, always posting pictures of, of things that they do. And, and Dan Antonelli, who's the owner of Kick Charge, um, cool just had, cat. yeah, just got a, released a book, um, Branded Not Blanded, I believe is the name. Yeah, right. so great, great little read yeah, talking about, yeah. and he's an expert in home service business, mostly, mostly plumbing companies, right? And getting them rebranded and, and to stand out in the community. They're Dan, the brand man. All right. He knows a thing or two. Yeah. And then the book, it's an easy, you know, for a guy like me, it's an easy read, mm-hmm. you know, so <laughs> it was nice. He gets right to, you know, makes clear, clear points mm-hmm. and it's just good stuff. Right. Okay. Yep. So yeah, check out his book. Yeah. Okay. Kick charge. Kick charge. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Qualities of a leader. All right. All right. A question we get asked. But I'm not a leader. I just started a plumbing business. So how am I a leader? You, you, you need to be a leader. Or you're leading whether you know it or not. You're either going to lead it in a good direction, you know, up, Mm -hmm. or you're going to lead it down, Mm -hmm. you know, the crash. I mean, so we're leaders, okay, whether, you know, Mm -hmm. we know it or not, okay? And and the thing of it is, you know, are leaders born or are they made? You know, we can have a tendency to look at, you know, as guys, we can look at, you know, this guy that seems to have it all together and he speaks well and he just, you know, and he does this or that. Mm -hmm. You know, not all leaders are, you know, the guy that just looks like he should be out front, uh, a lot of the best leaders are guys that you don't even really know, mm-hmm. all right? They're, they're behind the scenes, but right. but they're leaders, mm-hmm. okay? And you don't have to be all, you know, be all mouthy and, out there. you know, and have, you know, mm-hmm. have an opinion like me. <laughs> 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 Getting your, your you, know, uh, you, you know, a lot of guys, you can be quiet. Mm-hmm. And again, a lot of the best leaders are, qu- are quiet. Quiet strength. Right, mm-hmm. like quiet strength. But right. but they do have these, these things in common, all right, let's okay? Hear it. Mm-hmm. All right, and the first thing that they have in common, a good leader has in common, all right, it's common with good leaders, mm-hmm. is a winning attitude. Oh. Okay, they are a glass half full kind of guy or gal. Or, or full and overflowing, Flo- even ex- better. Ex- exactly. Mm-hmm. They're, not, they're not the Eeyore mentality. I well, was going to say that, yeah. Eeyore. You know, we say, well, you know, it's snowing today. <laughs> Customers aren't going to be calling today. Or, you know, it's... <laughs> 
if I, you know, if I make a million dollars, well, that, you know, you can't live the rest of your life on a million dollars. <laughs> you know, it's the always, taxes will kill you. Tax, right. <laughs> it's always come up with this stuff. And it's that, that abundance versus scarcity mm -hmm. viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. A, 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 a good leader on the great, great leaders all have an abundant state of mind. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or when a we growth, can do this. A growth state of mind. Right. right. We can do this, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Why uh, not? Why, why not? How are you going to do it? I don't know. I don't know. We can do it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to figure it you out. You got what it takes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I'm going to figure it out. Right. And if I make a mistake, I'm going to get back up and I'm going to try again. I'm going right. to do something different every time. Right. Mm -hmm. Leaders, you know, they, um, they're not, they're not affected. You know, we, we have this, um, leaders don't live in their circumstances. Like this is with any successful person. Okay. They don't live in their, their daily circumstance, mm -hmm. all right? Whether it's good or bad. Right, mm -hmm. right. Whether your circumstance is good or bad. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They live in their future success. Right. Mm -hmm. So looking forward, mm -hmm. all right? And that the, that the future is bright. Doesn't mean they're, they're you know, the, their head's just in, you know, mm -hmm. you know in, in sand. sand or mm -hmm. that they're in the stars and all that. You know, mm -hmm. they're aware that there's right. things can happen and what, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. They just don't see that that's going to stop them. Right. Yeah, they're not okay. going to live in, in those circumstances because there are. I mean, there's the economy. There's always right. rumors of any war every time you turn on the TV or whatever. Right. Right? There's, there's always some kind of war, storm. Some disease that's going to get you. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's been that since the dawn of time. Okay. Winners aren't don't live their lives by that. Nope. They okay. Don't focus on that. All right. Abundance versus scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. okay, great leaders are not only, you know, um, you know, have a, a winning mindset, but they communicate clear expectations. Okay. They communicate their expectations and these expectations are based on the business success. Okay. So, okay. so it's a good leader within a business. And that's part of what we've been asked. Well, how can I be a, a better leader in my business? I'm, I'm not only giving clear expectations, but I'm being clear about the expectations that lead to the success of the business. Okay. Okay. So example, uh, an example would be like with, uh, well, we, we call them non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you know, if you could be a fly in the wall in, in my plumbing company, I never once got all uptight about if a job went south or, or the expectations of, you know, you got to do the best quality and the best of this or that when it came to the plumbing. Right. It was important. It was important. We had training on those kinds of things. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. But it could be even feel a little, I was a little loosey goosey in that area, mm. but I wasn't loosey goosey on providing Mrs. Jones's options. Right. That was a non-negotiable. That was a non-negotiable. So setting that clear expectation that we are always going to provide options to Mrs. Jones. So the whole process of that and how we provided options, when we provide options, the whole, and it was reminded weekly at our, at our Monday morning meeting. Mm -hmm. It was reminded again. Mm -hmm. I gave talk about the, it all the time. Talk about it all the time. It was a yeah. non-negotiable. You're yeah. going to get in trouble. If you didn't provide the options. And I would come unglued about that. Mm -hmm. About that. Right. Because I, you know, but mm -hmm. I provided, I communicated clear. I made it very clear. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't have 15 non-negotiables. Right. You can't have this big laundry list of things that you're expecting your, your technicians or your, anybody on your, on your team to follow because then it just becomes overwhelming. Well, everything's a big deal to this guy, right? Ex exactly. And we Pick talk, your battles. Right. Exactly. And that's what we talk about. We're all about systemizing here. Mm -hmm. But where you can get too many things where, where we're running this system on, you know, this is, this is how we walk in, you know, here's, here's how we arrive in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And here's the system for that. And then here's the... Here's and, how we do inventory. Here's inventory, how we drive. Here's how we drive. Right. Here we yeah. here, all that. Mm -hmm. Then that just all of a sudden, no, none of it becomes important. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the guys just can't, they can't keep all that in their mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, then, and even though you have all that information... It's not clear because there's so much of it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like a menu. You, know, you go to you know, some of these restaurants, you know, like we love our- <laughs> Cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. That's our thing on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Our family's cheesecake. always gone to Cheesecake Factory, okay? Um, we love the food, <laughs> but it's the menu. There's like pages. It's a, it's a little novelette, you know, that you got to flip through to figure out. <laughs> and we okay, always end up getting the same thing every year. And that's something you want. You want that, okay? You want to be in that. But still, it's overwhelming. Well, the same thing, now we're in an environment where the guys just want to do their job and move on. If you have all this stuff, you know, even if you have a lot of expectations, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of expectations, and even though you've, done, you've put it all in a way that should, that should be clear, now it just becomes, you know, diluted, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is just as bad as not having clear expectations. Correct. So- have clear expectations mm -hmm. on your non-negotiables mm -hmm. and they're few. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You know, Not three, four mm -hmm. to seven. 
Yeah. Okay. Seven would be high. Seven would be right. That would be pretty high. Right. Yeah. You know, I would say no more than five. Right. Yeah. I, I had, I had three mm-hmm. options, mm-hmm. right? Make, make good job notes. Mm-hmm. And then when pitchers camp and pitchers mm-hmm. and then uh, clean and stock your truck. Mm-hmm. Th- those, those, it was clear on it. Those were non, and non-negotiable means that you, you don't negotiate on those must be done. Right. It's not a question of if the plumber wants to do it, they, it must be done. Right. So, and again, was very clear mm-hmm. on those, those were, um, those were uh, non-negotiables that led to what made our business money. Correct. By doing those things mm-hmm. is really took care of Mrs. Jones, which right. in turn made us money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything else, I, you know, was, we had, right. we had systems and that kind of stuff in place, mm-hmm. but it may, you, there could be a little gray there, even right. in the gray, even in the gray, the way I communicated. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yes. those we were very clear. So right. there we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, a non, another non-negotiable for you. <laughs> all right. Is my million dollar plumber blueprint. All right. It's non negotiable. You need it. Okay. You wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. So, why are you trying to plumb your business, build your business, all right, without a blueprint? Okay. You weren't taught these things and you need to know these things. All right. And in the blueprint, I lay out the specs, the exact specs that you need to have in place to build a successful, self sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. It's all in there for you and it's free. All right, so there's no excuse, all right, to do the non-negotiable of picking you up. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and pick up your free copy today. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, just as a reminder, everybody, go out and follow us on social media if you like the conversations was- we're having here on Potty Talk. Um, we have even more out on social media, out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, we're everywhere. Our channel, our, not our channel, I always say that our right. handle, our handle mm-hmm. is the million dollar plumber. So yeah, go out and give us a like and and share, and share and okay. comment. All right, even if you hate us, even right. if you hate us, right? Tell okay. me how much you hate my beard. <laughs> I don't care. Bring it. <laughs> right. Okay, that's what. That's that's well, why. we can't shave it. It's in the logo. So. It's in the right. I can't now. It's right. It's, it's here it's, forever. It's there. Okay. <laughs> and I don't care. And, exactly. and if you are commenting on my beard, you got too much time. <laughs> okay, you're focusing on the wrong stuff. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what are we talking about? Qualities of a good leader. And by the way, that's mm-hmm. a quality of a good leader. A good leader doesn't have time to, to, uh, mm-hmm. to make any kind of comments on a beard. No, on someone you know? else's beard. And that, that's why you can see, you can see this. All, all the winning, the, the guys and gals that are just extremely successful and doing, and doing stuff, they don't have, even if someone says something about them and whatever, they, they don't have time to comment on yeah, this stuff. They just brush it off. They're right. Because mm-hmm. they're moving on. They're, they're thinking. Okay. Right. They're abundance and they're moving forward. They don't exactly. they have time for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have time to comment negatively online. Mm-hmm. Too much time on your hands. Too much time on your hands. And, and you're focusing also, on the wrong thing. Right. Which is not making for a good leader. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So winning the attitude. Uh-huh. All right. Communicating clear expectations. Okay. All right. And finally, a willingness to engage. A willingness to engage. Engage in what? Well, I'll give it, you know. <laughs> I'll give you an example. There's a, um, I'm kind of a history buff. Okay. Okay. And so I like, uh, there's uh, General George McQuellen was the first Union general, okay, when Abraham Lincoln, you know, the Union, Confederacy, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Back in now, the Civil War days. Back in the Civil War days. Mm-hmm. Now, he, he was great. He was known as a great general because he could get the guys looking good, mm-hmm. get them all dressed up, mm-hmm. get them all marching, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and lockstep and whatever. Mm-hmm. And they could do all the moves with the, with the rifles. They could shoot well. Mm-hmm. They looked good, mm-hmm. okay, on what they called the parade field, mm-hmm. but he would never engage on the battlefield, mm-hmm. which really got Lincoln, you know, not, not, not right, because, <laughs> you know, we just wouldn't engage. The, the enemy's right there. The Confederates right. Well, all we got to do, in fact, we wouldn't have lost as many men or, in, on both sides if we would have engaged earlier, mm-hmm. but he was always waiting for the right time, mm-hmm. the right battle conditions. Perfect time. Mm-hmm. Where everything looked the best. Mm-hmm. Everything felt the best, <laughs> all right? And it never came a good time. Mm-hmm. So finally, he fires him, and that's when he brings in um, Grant. Grant. Grant, mm-hmm. who's a drunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't, you he know, couldn't get elected today. Right, couldn't, well, right. wait a minute. <laughs> um, he was like last in his, uh, in, in, uh, um, his class, uh, class mm-hmm. in, um, what, what's the... Uh, one of the, uh, the academies, the, the academies, right? The original academy, which McClellan was like first, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. And so here's an example of leadership. 
whatever. So he didn't have all the outside qualities that look for leadership, but he had the inside qualities, mm -hmm. which one of them was he, he looked like, why not? We can take the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we can win. He had an abundance look. Okay. He was realized of all the other stuff, but we, we can do it. Okay. He, he expressed clear expectations. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> We're going to take the field <laughs> and here's how. <laughs> okay. But he would engage. Okay, didn't wait for things were, were perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, would engage. Mm -hmm. And we see that time and time and time again. The difference between, and we've seen it with our own clients, mm -hmm. the ones that, that take off and, you know, and, and wind up being multi million dollar plumbing companies within fairly a couple quickly. years, mm -hmm. fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, from being in the truck and in debt mm -hmm. to multi million dollar plumbing companies, we're talking mm -hmm. about having $500 plus months. Five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollar plus months or whatever, in not a not a big market, in big markets. Okay, um, the big the, the big difference is the willingness to engage, and what that looks like with your plumbing business um, is the willing to hire the tech mm -hmm. before before you think you can. The willingness to go get another truck before you think you can, before you have anyone in it, or it happens to be slow. Okay. It's just the, the willingness to, to do those, those kinds of things, to engage, mm -hmm. okay? The willingness, when we talk about this, the willingness to book every call for today and not have two weeks, feel like you have two weeks scheduled. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. the willingness to put yourself in that position, mm -hmm. all right? Um, the willingness to triage the calls, the, these, sim these simple things, mm -hmm. but the willingness to engage. To just do it. We mm -hmm. see it time and time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, even if you're fearful, right? Right. Gosh, I don't oh, know if it's going to work out. Everyone's fear. I mean, yeah. the best the best leaders are fearful. Mm -hmm. You do. Okay. You do it afraid. Right. Yeah, you're gonna. Okay, it's okay to be afraid. Gosh, I'm nervous about hiring another plumber because I don't know if we're gonna have enough work or I'm getting another truck or whatever. Right. That's fine. Right. Do it afraid. Right. Do it you, anyway. Do it right. Mm -hmm. You're willing to engage. Mm -hmm. All right. To fail forward. That's what all great leaders and all great entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and successful business people. Aren't, aren't afraid to fail, okay, to fail forward. And that's what we look at. We call failing forward, okay? It's making the decision. Engaging is, and that's another point, engaging is making a decision, mm -hmm. all right? Should I, should I fire this guy? I, the answer I is probably yes. Yes. If your gut <laughs> thinks I should fire this guy, well, I don't, it's yes. I don't, I don't have him written up enough times and all the legal uh, and all that. Fire. Okay? Again, I'm not worried about, mm -hmm. you know, um, Grant wasn't worried about whether, you know, he's going to get in trouble by someone mm -hmm. or whatever, he's where McClellan it. was mm -hmm. and how, how, would, how he would look and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, you can't, you can't be afraid. You got, you got to be engaged. Well, you, can't be you, can't, afraid, you can't be afraid, but you must engage. Yeah. Do it anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that, that, that is a biggie right there with leaders. And, you know, I <clears> had guys, you know, asking about, should, is there leadership courses and guys, all the, all this kind of stuff, the guys are going to the classes and looking for something. It's just, you're telling me you're afraid to engage. Okay. This is simple stuff. Now really, there's really. great books out there yeah. on, on leadership. Read the books. Sure. Because again, more than likely, if you're listening to Potty Talk, you're probably, you know, a plumber that started right. his own business and all this kind of stuff is new to you. So yeah, go get the skills that you need to, or, or, you know, or learn, learn, learn from others' examples. That's well, what I, is, which are books, yeah. right? And listen to an audio book. Turn off the sports. We say it a million times. Turn off the sports. Turn off the news. Listen to things that's going to advance you because you are a leader. You are a leader. Again, you may be a plumber that just started your own business right. and you've just got your first guy. You're a leader. You're leading one You're way or another. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're either leading like, you know, McQuellen, which there is no real respect there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grant's men loved him. Um, there was clear expectations. Right. Mm -hmm. Patton's men loved him, mm. you know, and he was a son of a, what, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because, be, because of the attitude, people, the, the guys will be, you know, how, how can you attract being a, being a small company and attract the other guys, the better guys from the big companies? It's with this attitude, you know, I, I've seen it time and again, time and time and time again, hundreds of times now where, you know, if you have an attitude, well, we just, I'm just. We're lucky to be alive over here. You know, we're just a small shop and gosh, I don't know right. if we're going to have much work. A much guy's longer. not going to come over to, you know, they're, if a guy's coming to another place, he's looking for increase. That's a natural human um, element or, uh, way, or thinking as part of being our, our humanness. We're looking, humans are looking to increase, mm -hmm. to grow. Okay. And so they're not going to come from a big shop. They, they can go from a big shop to a little shop, mm -hmm. but they're, if they are, they're looking for increase at this big shop is, you know, they're, they, 
they're not just a number here and they're excited about taking, you know, taking over, over mm -hmm. things. People are drawn to that. Guys will be drawn to that. Yes. To an energy and, right. and um, a leader that leads, that leads right. well, that, that creates the energy. And here, and here's how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're going after, I'm not afraid of, you know, these big, you know, big companies or whatever. We, we're already, Mr. Jones loves us. Right. Okay. And this is how we're doing it. And mm -hmm. we're engaging. And I mean, it's just, you do those kinds of things. You'll be able to attract the better guys. Yes. Okay. The guys are also attracted to leadership. Mm -hmm. And they run like uh, whatever, right? From okay. those, from the, you know. From the ones that aren't leading well. The, the, yeah, the Eeyores. The Eeyores. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why can't I get <laughs> attract? Guys won't stay. <laughs> well, probably why. Right. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Okay. All right. So you hey. want to be a good leader, guys. Um, again, it's, it might be a new role, might be a new role for you. That's okay. Yeah. Um, don't just say, well, gosh, I've never been a leader. I don't know how to be a leader. Well, go, go learn how to be a leader. Read the right. books, follow people online that are, are good leaders, um, that, that right. give you tips. And then um, you just do it. You do it anyway. You, yeah. you got to do, do it. it. Right. There's, there's, I don't think you're, you're certainly born with, you know, that, that's the, the, the age old question is, are you born a leader or mm -hmm. can you be made a leader? You certainly are born with certain qualities that make you more willingness to, you know, I wasn't born. I, I don't like confrontation. Now, if you look at me now, I, I mean, I, I, you think I, I like, I like confrontation. Mm -hmm. And I come across, but I do not like confrontation. Mm -hmm. It's come out of my learn of what you it takes to, 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 to mm -hmm. lead or whatever. And then, and then over, overcome that, which I was able to, so I was able to make myself a good leader in that regard, mm -hmm. you know, to get past that, your natural bent towards right. not liking com confrontation. You know, but some, some guys do like confrontation, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. so, so they mm -hmm. got that part covered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, some guys don't, don't want to communicate. All right. So they, but they got to learn to communicate. Yeah. That's a must. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so you can learn these things and not, and just, again, I don't, you know, you don't have to take classes and that kind of thing. Just, just look at successful, anything, sports, mm -hmm. business, whatever. Look what makes, you know, Michael Jordan, how mm -hmm. he was a, not only the best, but really what he was a leader on the court. Mm -hmm. That's from my era. Mm -hmm. and so you can look at what, what made him a good leader, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. All right. And yeah. He had a, he had a, you know, it's a winning attitude. Um, you know, back, who's the, the quarterback, uh, San Francisco quarterback, Joe Montana, Joe Montana from our, right. Mm -hmm. It was like this little skinny guy, a little, <laughs> but he always had, it. Oh, could always win. And you could see that oh, come yeah. out. How many games that he, in the last two minutes, he pulled oh, the game yeah. out. Pull the game out. From Cause, him. and his guys were attracted to that. I, we can, we can, why, why not? We can win. We can do this. Right. And then he's communicating what are we going to do down the field? And he's engaged, he's engaging. He's not holding back. Right. You know, he's engaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are just, you know, they're simple things to do. Right. You just got to be willing to do them mm -hmm. and not give yourself the out or the excuse. Right. Okay. Because you are a leader. You are a leader. If you're a plumbing business owner, you are a leader. So mm -hmm. there we go. All right. Mic drop. No. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> okay. So, hey. Yes. Hey, hey, if you are looking, if you know, wanna, you want to you know, learn more about this mm -hmm. or, you know, you're looking to... Um, level up your business, or maybe maybe your guy is still in the truck and you're trying to, you know, how do I get out of the truck? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, let's have a 30 minute st strategy call, mm -hmm. all right? And it's a free, a free 30 minute strategy call. Simply mm -hmm. go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. C A L L. Okay. Mm -hmm. And set up your free strategy call. Yeah, we can talk we, about the business, talk about what you're looking to accomplish, talking about where, where you want to go, right. all the things, things you're struggling with, all of that. So free call. Right. Want to help. Mm -hmm. Okay. So take advantage of it. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Hey, great stuff there. Mm -hmm. Qualities of a leader. You are a leader. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. It is this simple. Uh, once again, it's not easy. Right. Okay. Simple, but not easy. So mm -hmm. it seems like how most things are. Uh, I think so. Okay. They really are simple. We really need an easy button. All right. All right. <laughs> Be nice. All right. Hey, it's about time to wrap things up. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye-bye, everybody.